In this video, I would like to consider Newton's third law and see what that tells us about momentum. So remember, Newton's third law just says that the force on an object A by an object B is going to be equal and opposite to the force on B by A. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate both sides of this expression. So if I integrate the force on A by B with respect to time, then I'm going to get negative the integral of the force on B by A with respect to time. All right, so um, we have a name for the thing on the left and a thing on the right. Those are both just the impulses. Um, this is going to be the impulse on A, and this one is going to be negative the impulse on B. Okay, and remember that the impulse is the change in momentum. Okay, so um, the change in momentum of particle A is equal to negative the change in momentum of particle B. All right, so um, what that means is that if A's momentum decreases, then B's momentum increases. Um, any change that is caused by this force in one of the particles' momentum will um, change the other particles' momentum in equal and opposite amount. Okay, another way to write this is to say, all right, well, I'm going to take PA final minus PA initial, and that's going to be equal to negative PB final minus PB initial. Okay, and if I move the initial to the right-hand side and the final to the left-hand side, then what I get is PA final plus PB final equals PA initial plus PB initial. All right, so a way to interpret this is the total momentum afterwards is equal to the total momentum beforehand. Okay, so looking at um, this expression a couple of lines up, this tells us that there's a transfer. And the last one tells us that the total is the same. Okay, so that is the key observation about um, conservation. We can tell that something is conserved if the total stays the same, which implies that there can be transfers from one place to another. Um, so this is essentially the law of conservation of momentum. Now this is derived from another law, um, so you could make an argument that there is a model underlying it, but again, like this is something that is observed from facts. The, the model is not really a requirement. Okay, so the momentum of a system is conserved if there is no net external impulse. Okay, so what do I mean by a system? Well, a system is just anything that I want to consider together. So I'm allowed to draw a dotted line around any particles that I want to be in the same system, and that's it, they're in the same system. Um, and so as long as there are no external net forces that are causing an external net impulse, um, the total momentum of that system will stay constant. Um, so momentum is able to transfer from one particle to another, but it can't just vanish. It has to um, either leave the system because of an external impulse, or it has to go from one place to another.